I'm one of one. I'm number one. I'm the only one. The one and only. Quentin wears back the fashion doll. And I'm here to talk about the doll of all dolls. The queen of the dolls. Yes, the queen of the universe. Beyonce Giselle knows Carter. Yes, honey. How do I keep my hat on for a second? Get into my feet. But we are here to talk about the Renaissance. And you may wonder, what does Renaissance have to do with dolls? But I'll tell you, I have an idea and I'm here to talk about it. But hey, y'all, welcome back to my channel. What I wanted to talk about today was a doll for Beyonce. I went to the Renaissance tour, but hence my shirt. I bought this shirt when I went to the tour. I went to the New Jersey, New York show at MetLife Stadium. I wore this hat there. Um, but when I was leaving the show, I was kind of sad. And I was like, oh, I wish Beyonce could come home with me. And that probably sounds crazy. But that's like legit how I felt like, oh, I'm so sad I had to leave Beyonce. And then I was like, Beyonce needs a doll. And I know Beyonce had dolls in the past with Mattel. Destiny's Child had a set of Barbies and their Grammy looks. Um, I think they performed at the Grammys in like 2001. It was the blue looks. And then they also had a set of Barbies and like evening gowns. And those were cute. And Beyonce's and the evening gown definitely looked like her. They did Kelly and Michelle bogus. And my, to me, in my opinion. Um, but I think Beyonce needs a solo doll. To me. I think uh, it. she deserves it. It's time. I've seen that J-Lo has a doll. Gloria Estefan. Like, they've been making Barbies of some random people. So, we could definitely do one for the queen. So, that's where this idea came from. So, then I started thinking about, like, what would the looks be or just the setup? So, this was just a whole thing for me. And just a little background. I know I've told y'all that I'm a graphic designer and I have an Etsy store. And years ago, I started off just making pins. So, I've made some pins. I'm not a doll designer or necessarily a full-on clothing designer. But I, I still work in design and manufacturing, so I know a little something. But when I was making pins, this is a pen that I made of Beyonce at, um, with Malibu Stacy, And she's dressed, can't remember the designer, but uh, it's the look from Pretty Hurt. And then I also did this pen of Beyonce um, and it's like a nod to formation and the Gucci looks. And I just showed these to show that I think you can, you can interpret fashion and high fashion, whether it's as little as these pins or as big as a Barbie. So we know a Barbie, I think she's like 11 inches or something around there. So this was, this is how we're going to break this down. I think they should, Mattel, this is my pitch to Mattel. I think they should come out with two Barbies. I think one should be called Bar B, but we're gonna spell it B A R B E Y, like get it bar and then B. So th these will be looks from the tour. So I want this doll to be called the Renaissance Tour Barbie. So these are all looks from the tour, but we're gonna make it make sense with Barbie's bread and follow me. So a Bar B, and then there'll be another doll called Act One. Because from my understanding, Beyonce is having three acts. So there's potential to have more dolls in the future when the next album comes out or we get another tour or whatever. And then I also want a fashion pack. If you saw with, when the Barbie movie dolls came out, they had an extra fashion pack for those. So I think that would be cool to have a fashion pack for the Beyonce Barbie because she has so many looks. I feel like there's at least a hundred looks from the Renaissance tour. And just a disclaimer, this is not me breaking down every look from the tour or uh, ranking them. I do plan to do that in the future, but that's not what this is. This is what I think Beyonce Barbie could be today. So let's get into the looks for Barbie, B-E-Y. So at the show that we went to, 
Beyonce had on a black and white gown by Marc Jacobs. She opened in that when she does the ballad. And when I saw that, I was like, oh my God, this is so perfect. Because it immediately made me think the 1959 Barbie in the black and white swimsuit. Like the lines were kind of similar. It definitely was giving me that vibe. So I think that Barbie, her main look should be that black and white Marc Jacobs gown. But I think the doll should come with two additional looks. So this one in the box, it would have the pink Ivy Park dress from the um, Ivy Paradise with the coat. I think that would be really stunning to have like the little fluffy or furry coat. And Barbie already does those coats anyway. And then also the pink Valentino. So, you know, Barbie pink, Beyonce did pink in her own collection. And then with the Valentino, I love the headpiece with the Valentino and the glasses. And then her dress was actually like a wrap dress. That when she unwrapped it, she had a body suit, like her standard leotard under it with the boots. And that is very Barbie to me. Barbie loves the transformation. That would just be so stunning. So they could figure out a way, honey, put them on the side. Figure it out. Y'all can figure it out. That would be stunning. So for the Act 1 Barbie, the Act 1 Beyonce Barbie. I think the main look should be the yellow and black Mugler look with the helmet that gives a nod to um, like the helmet from the 90s. That would be stunning. I think when you think of this tour, that's definitely a look that stands out and you see it on social media all the time. And she is the queen bee. So it's like a, a stunning fashion reference and then a reference to her fandom and um, just her looks throughout her tour. She does a lot of bee looks. And then Barbie, so we can't do molded on because she her clothes needs to be able to come off. But this could be plastic. I think plastic would be fine. I think they actually could recreate this and it could be easy. Maybe like a snap in the front and back kind of moment. Barbie can figure it out. And we need the helmet as well. For her alternate looks, I think we should get the silver Jacques Mousse dress. And just to, to add this, this is my first video where pictures should be inserted. And I use these an app to make AI versions of some of these dolls. So when they pop up, they made Beyonce look like a white Barbie. But I still thought it was funny. So <laughs> just go along with it. We just want to see visual interpretation. Thank you. So yes, the silver Jacques Mousse dress with the boots. That was very cute. It's giving disco ball. Disco balls are like, kind of like the visual representation renaissance. So I think that would be really cool and something sparkly and shiny. And then I also think for the last alternate look that comes with the Act 1 Beyonce Barbie, it should be the Lueve bodysuit with the hands on it. And the picture should pop up somewhere <laughs> around me but this was a dress from the runway that they reinterpreted as a bodysuit and she's done a like a gold or cream version and then a silver i like the original colorway but uh those would be the three looks for the act one barbie and then i just want to show this i bought this recently it's a fashion avenue fashion pack for barbie from the 90s and this is the back. Get into the back. And the girl has on the denim look on the back too. This is the quality of clothes that we need Barbie to get back to. This is stunning. Just stunning. So I need packaging. I need it to be stunning. They can make the box look like her stage. You could make the box look like a tour van. Like, there's so many opportunities and options for this. Y'all can turn it. So, for the fashion pack, I think we should have... Beyonce did... She had this on when I saw her. Uh, from the Ivy Park Camo collection. I can't remember. I think it was Trail Park. She had an orange jersey with navy blue and camo on it. And then camo boots with a silver hat. When she does formation. I think that should be a part of the fashion pack. Just to get another Ivy Park tie-in in, why not? The Gaultier kimono look, which also is giving me 
a nod to the original Barbie in the black and white swimsuit. The lines was still giving me that. It was the bodysuit with the kimono. That was starting. The red Carolina Herrera dress with like the, I don't know, do we want to call it a uh, headpiece slash cape or was it a hood? We'll say the Carolina Herrera dress with the hood, the red one and she had the red stockings. And I think the shoe was a mule. I don't think it had a back to it, which is very Barbie. Barbie loves a mule. That would be stunning. And the last look, a part of the fashion pack, should be the silver Lueve look that she just wore recently. I believe in St. Louis, it has the metal bodice and then a simple black dress under it. I think Barbie could execute this really well and easily. They could do a plastic corset for the metal to, you know, represent the metal, and then just a black gown. And I think she had gloves on too. But that would be so simple, so easy. And y'all like to charge for these dolls anyway. Put it on material creations. The people will buy it. If people gonna do not gonna do anything, they'll go to purchase something Beyonce related. So it will get bought. It would get purchased. Y'all will get your money back. And again, I think because we know that there are two more acts to this album coming out, we could have two more sets of dolls or maybe just come out with an act two doll and an act three doll and not the Barbie. But who knows? They could do both. She could keep having looks that kind of give a nod to Barbie. So yes, that is my idea and I would like to show the AI versions again. Hopefully they come up on the screen. Let me know what y'all think. I hope someone from Mattel actually <laughs> sees this. Give me a job. I know how the thing work. I know how to make clothes. I actually saw a book about how to, about making your own Barbie clothes and I thought about buying it. But this is stunning. And I hung up this stuff that's decor in my room by my sewing machine. And I actually just ordered something else from Fashion Avenue. But just see, just, the packaging, the background behind the clothes, just so simple, but these touches go a long way. So Mattel, we want this back. I'm sure all the collectors want that back. And we want a Beyonce Barbie. It's time. She is the queen. Who else is more of a Barbie than Beyonce? And y'all should have had, while I'm on it, instead of Gloria in the Barbie movie doing that little lame speech, I think that y'all should have played different music that are female empower empowering songs like Run the World or Oh Cindy Lauper Girls Just Wanna Have Fun. Like it's a lot of songs. Y'all didn't hit me. we didn't need all those original songs. But anyway, I wanna know what y'all think in the comments. Let me know what if you disagree with my looks, if you think some other looks will work better on dogs. And I, I didn't just choose these looks because they were cute. I thought that they could be executed in doll form and not too complicated, if that makes sense. Or maybe not too expensive. But please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and subscribe, and subscribe. <laughs> and I will see you in the next video. Yes, the rubber song.